All right, audience, what's up? I hope you guys are having a great day. We all know what's about to go down today. A lot of you guys have been very supportive on my Baba <sighs> videos. Oh, so, well, yeah, here we are doing a part three of the Baba cringe saga. Now, obviously, before I get into the video, any jokes that I make about Baba, I don't actually mean these jokes at all. I know some of you boys got a vagina in between your legs, so just letting you guys know. I mean, who knows? Maybe at the end of the video, you might grow a dick. And by the way, speaking of dick, caught beating it in school, part <sighs> one. Remember back when I was in middle school? Bro, middle school? I can only hope that this story is not about Baba. Because, bro, if you about to tell me about a story about you beating your meat in middle school, all right? I, I don't want to hear that, all right? Because we know what you look like roughly six years ago. I'm not trying to think about you beating your meat in middle school. That's kind of disgusting, kind of perverted. And plus, bro, the whole idea of beating your meat in school, all right? Th that's just disgusting. Like, you can't wait a few hours until you can shimmy your shaft at home on the toilet. Let's see, like, bro, like, that, that's just, that's just a sign of you're a weak male. There was always a super weird kid in my computer class that was always weird. Just the fact that you were inside of a computer class already makes you weird. Now, unfortunately, audience, I have to also admit, I was also inside a computer class. However, I never chose to be inside of the computer class because, uh, actually, can I say this? I, I mean, I'm graduated now. Because, all right, look, this school I was at, it was so booty, all right? They couldn't get back with me about anything. I'm trying to fill in my school schedule, you know? know what I'm saying? They don't get back with me because I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go into art class, but you know what they didn't give me? Damn art class. The most fun part of this whole painting technique is washing the brush. No, I got stuck in computer class with people like this that beat their meat inside a class. Don't get me wrong. He was super smart because he finished his work early. This guy only finished early to beat his dick. But on this day specifically, he was really, really weird. All right, yo, how could you be weirder than beating your dick inside a class? I mean, what, what else? did he do? Did he poo or something? I mean, sheesh, dog. If you poo in your pants inside a class while also simultaneously beating your meat, I mean... <laughs> You're, you're just a recipe for disaster. I remember we were doing a pop quiz in my computer class. I think he was popping something else, you know what I'm saying. That's one time. It was something for game programming back in middle school. You guys did game programming? Bro, where is this school? At my school, we just did nothing but learn how to use Google Docs. I mean, dude, we, we did nothing. Our computer science class just taught me how to do MLA format and how to send an email. Like, what? I want to learn how to do 3D programming in school, but oh, wait a second. I graduated from a school that don't do anything. I'm not really sure, but I remember this kid was sitting in the corner of the classroom and he started making weird noises. Okay, I've seen this so many times already. Yeah, so I don't know if any of you guys are in middle school or anything like that. Comment one down below if you're in middle school right now. But if you're in middle school, I can guarantee you a few kids in your class are gonna find this funny where they'll just randomly moan like, like, yeah, yeah. Like, they're gonna, they're gonna think it's funny. I'm just letting y'all know now, uh, don't moan in class. Do not moan anywhere in school. It's, it's never, it's never, it never was funny. It never will be funny. If you're one of those people that moan in class and people are laughing at you, don't worry. You're gonna look at yourself in two years and thinking, wow, I, I was stupid. I was a, I was a dumbass. So yeah, this is your warning now. Um, don't moan in class. Don't, don't be a dumbass. Now, I remember during my computer class, I would look at my crush and I just look instantly over at the corner of the room kind of asking why would he make such weird noises he was looking at your crush bro he was looking at those uh those arrowhead nipples and he was like dang mm, i want to i want a chunk of that you gotta fit yourself into the minds of these nerds inside a class bro all right they see a female they'll, they'll go down on anybody all right i know some guys are gonna be like oh i'll smash her pack they're gonna smash any female that gives them the opportunity let's not bs ourselves every middle school boy is like this all right they they just they just trying to get it wet ow Rith, I'm not like that. Well, bro, I'm sure once I see your search history, we'll be having a different discussion, buddy. And over time, the noises got louder and louder to the point where I literally heard him go, Oh, oh. So, sorry, Baba, you just you just really made me act up from that noise you just made. Except in a more higher pitch since we were back in middle school and none of us really hit puberty at the time. I don't know about y'all, but when I was in middle school, bro, I was I was so going through it. Every five seconds in seventh grade and eighth grade, I was just like, huh. you know, dude, it, it was bad. But hey, bro, all y'all hear me now on this microphone, all right? I used to be made fun of for my voice. Uh, pff, Look at me now, baby. Honestly, it was super weird, but let's just say what ended up happening next grossed me out. So it's not 
not the idea of what has already happened isn't freaking you out. It's what's happening next is freaking you out. Look, bro, I'm sitting in class trying to do my work on my Ticonderoga number two pencil. And if I hear, uh, uh, I'm going to be a little weirded out. Follow for part two. Follow for part two. Is this supposed to be the tourist trap to get people to subscribe? Yeah, bro. Subscribe to my channel so I can do a part two, even though I'm, I'm going to do it anyways. Yeah, bro. Because we totally want to know how this guy shot his load onto the gymnasium floor. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I remember when this kid was making weird noises and I heard that final moan going, oh, ah! you're making me hard, Baba. Don't, don't, you need to stop that now. Don't make me the victim of your next story. In the computer class, I freaked out. I instantly knew what he was doing because I remember he kept looking at his lap and his hand was going up and down like nonstop pop. Audience, let's all be real for a second. If there's going to be any real story that Baba has ever told on his YouTube channel, I feel like it's this one low key because this time he's not talking about himself. He's not talking about how much cooter he gets because I mean, dude, look at this guy. He talks about all the stories being in high school, but bro, this is Baba. Baba in high school. You expect this guy to have sex on the weekly? <laughs> like, no, bro. Like, nobody expects that. But this time, I feel like with the nerd blowing his load on the computer class, I, uh, I'm actually buying it. Now, I don't know if this is real or anything like that. I would assume that stuff like this happens actually quite often in schools. But I'm just giving my opinion. Like, nine times out of ten, I think this story's real. Middle school boys like to blow their load. I mean, what can I say? At this moment, I knew to stay away from him because clearly he had his own business going on. But then I remember our teacher, after the test, decided to make us mark our own work. So basically, we all had to choose a partner to mark their work with since, I guess, teachers are lazy like that. On God, man. Teachers are so lazy. All right, look, if there's a teacher out there, I'm gonna give y'all some pointers. When you make your students grade each other's papers, all right, they're gonna give each other 100s, okay? It it's so obvious, but they don't pick up on it. I did it for my friends in high school. My friends did it for for me in high school and middle school and elementary school it's such a common occurrence like bro get up stop being lazy and grade your own papers and i remember specifically this kid walked up to me put his hand on my shoulder with the hand that he used to beat his own meat i mean i'd be pissed too if my shirt got stained like that i'm not trying to wear my drip to school just to have somebody rub their spermicide on it bro that that pissed me off and let's just say what ended up happening next was just not it for me or my crush i mean same i mean i don't know what's so surprising here but okay i remember when he came up to me and put his hand on my shoulder i was freaking out i was like oh and i remember moving back kind of grossed out wanting to you know basically stay away from him throughout this video i'm trying to imagine myself if like if i was in baba's situation you know what i'm saying like what would i do what would i do after a somebody marked their spermicide on my shoulder and then second off they're trying to ask me to grade their work after i watched them masturbate in class i mean my animal instinct would tell me to punch this guy in the mouth but this guy's already a sicko i don't want to touch this guy i would just pretend i wouldn't hear him bro all right helen keller low-key knew the move back in the 1900s but then he told me hey you want to like mark my work and when he said that i was like you know what why not there's no other partner and honestly i'm screwed if i don't so i went over to his desk and i saw there was literally some white devil's cream on his chair and on the ground pause what what the fuck? Who in the diggity damn- <laughs> What? On the ground? Like, dude, do you not realize how disgusting that is? I mean, next to eating your own sperm, this is like the second most disgusting thing I can think of. I remember sitting on that desk, spreading my legs to make sure I didn't hit the devil's cream. I remember marking that test so fast to the point where it was like a Minecraft speed run. But then I remember my crush ended up walking up towards me and she saw something was up. So when she walked up to me, she saw that there was the devil's cream. And I remember her looking at me saying, are you good? Did you literally just do that right here? And at that moment, I knew it was over for me. Moral of the story, dog, um, don't jerk off in school, all right? Just wait until you're home at least. Obviously, I don't recommend for y'all to do it at all, but you know what I'm saying. You know, don't, don't do that kind of stuff. It's weird. Get this video to a thousand likes and I'll make a part four of Baba. Anyways, yeah, hope y'all have a good day. Later.